Another never a foul bonus. This one, Arsenal, Egal versus Northside. It's always box office when these two get together. Again, like the theme of the other streams, you have two opposing sides. You have yin and yang. You have good and bad, or you can flip it as, you know, good and bad in which way being good is being positive or being good is being negative or some would say holding standards, you know what I mean? And it's just when they come together in a stream, it's... It's mad. They just, you know, can't agree on anything and they just end up yelling and, and shouting and everything else in between. But I'm going to look at a short clip here. Again, link posted down below from Never Foul. And it basically goes on to the uh, defense wins you the league aspect. And obviously, we know that obviously Arsenal um, drew against Brighton 1 1, Declan Rice red card, all that sort of shit, right? Now they're potentially, um, well, not potentially, they are without Rice for this North London derby next weekend. And also Moreno is out for six to eight weeks. So they're a little bit light in the midfield. So this North London derby should be very, very interesting. But it wasn't that. It was more so the fact of them not scoring goals made evidence for not signing a proper number nine. And now we've come to the point where well, is it the defense that needs to be better or is it the attack that needs to be better? And they say attack wins your games, defense wins your championships. Well, if the defense let you down in two or three games last season, conceding goals, at the same time, your attack let you down by not scoring goals. So it's one of those dichotomies. Is a dichotomy, is that the right term? I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to, I'm thinking of something completely different, but let's have a listen to this because it, it did get a little bit tasty. We do have a lot more cover on the bench. Also, you said something about you said something about what is the defense going to do? We need to score more goals. You all know something? You can win a league with your defense. You don't always need to win a league with your attack. If I'm not mistaken, when Liverpool won the league, they were, their defense was highly rated and their attack was highly rated. When City yeah, won the league... Your forward's not highly and, rated, Bob. Your forward line's not highly rated. You don't second, ever second, compare that forward second, line to Liverpool's one, forward. The disrespect. We won that league with Mane, Firmino... And Salah, we had Rigi off the bench. We had Shakiri doing bits in that forward line as well. What's man talking about, bruv? Come on, man. Second, I'm not comparing it. I'm just showing you that when you win the league, when you win the league, it's not necessarily on the goals. Because there was times where Liverpool's attack was always fire, but the year that they won it was because of their defense. When you won it with uh, with Ruben Diaz being player of the season, it was because of your defense. We Bro, when I think of games we needed to win and we did win, that goal that Mane scored in the 94th minute against Aston Villa, I want to say, that was crazy because we had conceded, could not score a goal to save our lives, and then Robertson pops up in the 80-something minute, and then Mane gets that flick on header, and we win the game 2-1. That attack won us the game, but our defense still shipped the goal. So the attack needed to fire on behalf of the defense. That's just one game. Yes, there were other games we just won, winning one nils and two nils and, and shit like that. But man, when the when the team needed a, a win, we needed the goals. We would concede first, but then win by a goal or two thereafter. Go down by one, win 2-1. Go down by one, win 3-1. Something to that effect. It wasn't always the defense that was getting us through. The, the defense obviously helps, but you need to score goals to win the game. We've seen it with numerous teams. Chelsea won numerous league titles with their defense. Why is it all of a sudden we're rewriting the wheel? We're making it seem like the only way to win a league is your attack. You don't always win a league no, with your attack. No, you're rewriting. You literally are rewriting it. No, this has been the history of the league over the last... 20 years, we've seen Chelsea win numerous league titles because of their defensive record. We've seen City win a league title because of their no, defensive record. Not. You can have a great defense, but if you're not scoring goals, you ain't winning shit. So you still need a decent attack that's going to bag you the goal, and you have to have the defense that's going to stop the goals from coming in on the opposite end of the pitch. Am I wrong? Oh, we've, seen seen Liverpool. we've seen balance. Liverpool win their first league title in 30 years because their defence was no, so no, solid. No, 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 balance. Because this is what, again, you're focusing on their defence. You're not saying the fact that they have Mane, Salah and fucking Firmino up. I just said that. Like I said, you need to have the good with the bay. Not good with the bay. You need to have good in both. You need a good defence to stop the goals being conceded. But you also need a good attack to score the goals on the other end. Like I said, 
that one game against Villa stands out because we needed to win that game to keep to you know to keep it moving. Obviously, it was one of those games where you know probably you know it would have been good for us in any case. But that late winner that was brilliant from Mane. I'm pretty sure that was a champ- That was a Premier League winning season. I'm pretty sure it was. If it's not, I'm getting my my years mixed up, and that's poor form from Liverpool fan. But but I think that was the case. But in any case, I'm saying case too much. You need the attack to score the goals. Okay, you concede one, you stopped potentially two or three going in, but you need your attack to do the business on the other end. What's the point of having a good defence if you if you ship one if you're not scoring goals on the opposite end? Up front, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, you're, but even, you're even though they had Mane, Salah and Firmino up front, they didn't score much more goals than what we scored last season. No, bro, they had balance. That's the key balance. Whereas right now... Regardless, they still didn't score more goals than what we scored last season. Yeah, but that... It's not about scoring the more goals. You've scored more goals, but then you maybe conceded more goals. That's the difference. We just say you have a good attack. Yes, you score lots of goals. You have a good defense. You don't concede as many goals. Yeah, but either, they, you know either, they either you guys are they underrating. Yeah, you, you guys are underrating. You against Aston Villa, you see against Aston Villa, they put their chances away and get over the line. That's what they do in the cup games. They actually get over the line because they on the club they were winning cups. Yeah, you referenced Aston Villa. There you go. The Aston Villa game. They won the league in the crunch end of the season. They had the goals to score. The reason why we lack composure. They had the opportunities and they scored. We don't do that, which is why we won nothing. But understand, my point is... The goals win games. My point point is, you guys are saying goals win... One second. You guys are saying goals win games. The the year Liverpool won the league, they scored 85 goals. Manchester City scored 100 plus goals and they were in second by like 10, 15 points. Behind uh, Liverpool. But we had to score goals to win the games. That's my point. Man City might have scored 100 something goals, but they were conceding goals as well. We were scoring less goals, but not conceding as many goals as well. And at the difference, don't concede, score goals. If you are going to concede, score goals. If you're not going to score goals, don't concede. Isn't that the formula? Goals goals don't necessarily win you. One second. Goals goals don't necessarily win you the league every year. We've seen City score 100 plus goals and still coming second. Who turns up? You can't say one. You can't say one. Who turns up to win us the game in the crunch end of the season? Whether it's the Champions League, whether it's the Premier League, whether it's the Cup. Last season, Last season, week in, week out, the guys who turned up to win us the games were the likes of Bakayo Saka, Kai Havertz. Were, did you not watch the game against, against what do you call it, Southampton? What did we against win? South- did, you not win this, did you not watch the season? What did we win? I mean, sorry, not Southampton. Sheffield, did, did you watch the game against, uh, what do you call it, Brentford? Did you watch the game against Chelsea? Did you watch the game against Tottenham? Did you see the performances the guys like Bakayo Saka and Kai Havertz put on the back end of last season? Even Martin Odegaard at the back end of... Performances, bruv, you... you... Arsenal didn't score. Look, there ain't no slide on the guy. I, look, he can have his moments when it comes to his thoughts and opinions. That's all part of the game. There's, there's no issues there. But, like, the thing is, the back end of the season for Arsenal, when they needed the goal scored, they they didn't come. Against Aston Villa at home, they needed the goal scored. It didn't come. Oli Watkins basically made sure of that by scoring his goal. I think that was the second goal, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe scored both of them, I can't remember. But you needed to win. If you're going to concede, at least go up the other end and score the goals to win you the game. That's the point. Like, you can have as many goals as you want, but if you're not going to stop the goals going in, yes, you may be at a falter. But if you're going to stop goals going in, you need to score goals on the other end. Evidently, they didn't score goals on the other end. Ergo, they ended up losing out on the title because they didn't put chances away when they should have, which goes back to the whole point of do Arsenal need a proper number nine out-and-out striker just to bag them 20, 30 goals a season? In the last season, did you not see me? Where was that against Villa for us to win the league? Where was that against Villa for us to win the league? Bro, where was that? Hold on. Where was that against Bayern Munich for us to uh, uh, go on in the Champions League? Where was it? Bro, the Bayern Munich game was small margins. That doesn't matter. The Bayern Munich game was small margins. The small margins count they matter though the small margins is where you differentiate your quality standout players to like your everyday players like you need your key players your big guns to step up in key moments 
Cox, I did step up. He scored goals. He did score a goal against Bayern. He did score a goal against Bayern. He did score a goal against Bayern. Just one second. I don't think last season we fully had the uh, we we fully had our team fully sorted. And this season, if you guys want to say we're still not sorted, fair enough. But my thing is, I think this team is still good enough to win the league. I still think this team is good enough defensively to be one of the best teams out there. Offensively, we still have enough quality to put, to bury enough chances and, and to get enough chances with the players we have. And I just think you don't highly rate any of our attackers. Fair enough you do, if you don't rate Kai Havertz, but Kai Havertz is still going to be one of the top performers this season based on all, based on how many goal contributions he's going to get. I don't think I don't think Jesus That's is going to have as much of an impact. Impact. But well, with what? Raheem Sterling, yeah, Leandro Trossard, and Gabriel Martinelli, well, that's amazing. Might, that's amazing. We will, still that's amazing. Have enough, we will still have enough on the other hand. I don't think I don't think you guys realize that what we, Saka. What I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to understand what either of them are saying because they're both speaking on one another. Boys, honestly, man, that the the moderation and the mediation needs to be taking up a couple of levels, man, because it is a tough watch. It is a tough watch. And I'm not talking about the people on stream. I'm talking about actually trying to pay attention to what is being said. Saka and Kai Havertz right now. One second. Saka and Kai Havertz right now, as much as you guys want to banter, are probably one of the deadliest duos out there right now when it comes to goals and, and what are we going to win? What are we going to win then? With all of We're this chat, what are we going to win? I'm, I'm, basing, I'm basing our league title based on our defense. I don't care about what our attack does. Our attack is going to do enough to get us past games. I think and our defense... Is Bro, you, you need the attack to score goals, man. If you have a good defense, you're not conceding. If you have an average or less than flattering attack, yeah, probably ain't going to be scoring goals. If you don't have the killers, as we say, to kill the game or score two, three goals, and then it's done and dusted. Thanks for coming. Game wrapped up. Even if you concede one, still you won the game. You need a good defense to stop goals being conceded, and you need a more than capable, competent, good attack to score goals when you need them. That is the key point here, I believe. What Northside is trying to make out there. Look, like, don't get it wrong. I understand the gal's point as well. You stop goals going in, you will obviously be better off for it because the less goals you concede, the more chance you have of winning a game. Obviously, you don't concede. That means that you have a chance of winning a game. But if you're not scoring on the other end, if you're not putting chances away, then you might have situations like a 1-1 one -one draw, even though it was down to you know, 10 men. You might have situations where you're not putting chances aside and then the opposition gets two chances and bang, they bang away two goals and then you lose the game 2-0. So you do need a strong attack. But in, then if you're conceding two goals, is your defense actually uh, that up to scratch? going to win us the league. I think William Saliba is going to be the player of the season. You think you're going to win the league? Yeah. 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 You're going to win, bro. All you think you're going to win the league? Yeah. Win, then? If you're so we're, excited... I just said to you, I, I believe we're going to win the league based on our, how our defensive prowess is going to get us through okay. the season. We got it. We got it. Okay, I said no that numerous times. You can go through every single video, no every clip. That's fair. I've I think said you did. This year, we're going to win the league based off you our defense. You said it last. You said it last. Said it last year. Year. going to be the player of the year. David Ray is going to stand on his head. There's going to be a lot of great. There's going to be a lot of performances where you guys are going to <laughs> stand on his head as a goalkeeper. Just, just quick oh, question. Oh, hey guys, can yeah, I just? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to question and I'll go back to being quiet. And I, I got a question. On, and I'll go back to being quiet. Um, like, we, just on, say. we just done a fraud eleven out of the first three games, and there was an argument to put in Gabriel there. Was that what we like? Gabriel. Ah, uh, Gabriel, bro. Oh, honestly, man. Like, man, that's mad. Look, I, I'm not here to dunk on anybody specifically. I just think that yes, you can have a good defense, but your defense ain't gonna win you a league if your attack ain't scoring you goals. You definitely need your attack to score the goals. What are these comments? I love the expression on all sides' face. Whenever you hear, you want to know something from a guy, get ready for a load of waffle. No side, just the noisemaker that wants to be noticed. Big up Cass and Daft, but I can't listen to a girl in Northside longer than a minute. No one in Northside League going to get along so well. They're both the same. Good to see the real Arsenal fan Northside. We always want to see more on this show. Oh, it's crazy. Monty's right. Arsenal better pray and not drop points in the next two games. Yeah, they got, they got Tottenham Hotspur, and then they've got Man City. Bro, if they do not win or if they drop points in that game, that could be bad come the end of the season. It's crazy. Madness. At this point, we have to laugh at a girl. Man doesn't have any Arsenal player, so what does he complain? That's in reference to Northside. Northside bangs on about stands and mentality, but wants to throw in the towel at game week three. Ready hand built for the race. Big up, never a foul. Cash trying to calm taps down. Madness. Sam and Arsenal are going to be a three pit of bottling with the kind of window we had as title challengers. Well, there you have it. Link's posted down below. 
Arsenal defence or Arsenal attack? Yeah, if you had to pick one, which one would you prefer at the moment? Because your defence is already good. Do you want to improve on your defence or do you think you need to improve on your attack? I would think that Arsenal need to improve on the attack. They're not conceding as many goals. They still conceded some, what, 30-odd goals last season. But still, you need to be bagging goals as well. If you're not bagging goals, you're not winning the games, unfortunately. But that, that's my two cents. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you on the next video.